Yan Ruiz Royal Lao, the noble consort Xi, is not Yunzheng's empress or Qianlong's biological mother. She becomes the empress daughter because she is Qianlong's foster mother. So, in real history, is it possible that the empress foster mother became the empress daughter? The answer is yes, but it rarely happened. In real history, many empresses had a foster mother, but only two empresses promoted his foster mother to the empress daughter. The first one is Emperor Renzhong of Song. Song Renzhong was born by consort Chen of Li, but he was adopted by the Empress Liu. The Empress Liu was more interested in managing the court. In daily life, Renzhong was cared by consort Yang, who was Empress Liu's best friend. When Renzhong inherited the throne, the Empress Liu became the Empress Dowager and managed the court. The consort Yang was promoted to the consort daughter. After the Empress daughter Liu passed away, Renzhong followed her will and promoted consort daughter Yang to the Empress daughter. Meanwhile, Renzhong found the truth that the consort Chen of Li was his real bio biological mother, so he posthumously promoted his real mother to the Empress Dowager. Another emperor is Qing Emperor Xianfeng. Xianfeng's biological mother is Dao Guang's third empress, Xiao Quancheng. After Xiao Quan passed away, Xianfeng was adopted by Dao Guang's imperial noble consort Jing. In official historical documents, when the imperial noble consort Daozhi was dying, to pray for her, Xianfeng promoted her to the Empress Daozhi. But in some unofficial documents, Xianfeng was treated by Prince Gong and had to promote his foster mother. Personally, I think Xianfeng didn't voluntarily promote his foster mother because Xianfeng gave the consort Jing posthumous title Xiao Jing Huang Hou. The Empress Xiao Jing didn't add Dao Guang's posthumous name Cheng. The character Cheng was added in Xiao Jing's posthumous name by Cixi to appreciate Prince Gong's help. Uh, adding Empress posthumous name to his Empress posthumous name started from the Ming Dynasty, but only the Empress wife was allowed to use Empress posthumous name. For example, Ming Yingzhong's posthumous name is Ri Huang Di. He has two Empress, the Empress Xiao Zhuang Ri and the Empress Xiao Su. Xiao Zhuang Ri is Yingzhong's Empress, so in her posthumous name, the character Ri is added. Empress Xiao Su is Yingzhong's consort. She becomes the Empress because her son inherits the throne. So, Xiao Su isn't allowed to add Ri in her posthumous name. In the Qing Dynasty, all emperors could add the emperor's posthumous name. For example, Yongzheng's posthumous name is Xian Huangdi. Xiao Jingxian is his empress. Xiao Shengxian is Yongzheng's consort and Qianlong's biological mother. But both of them can add the character Xian to their posthumous name. So, in the Qing dynasty, if the empress is not allowed 
to add her husband's posthumous name to his posthumous name. This empress isn't considered as the formal empress. Now, in all Qing empresses, only Shun Zhi's true love, Xiao Xian Huanghou, didn't add empress posthumous name. This is because the empress daughter Xiao Zhuang really hated Xiao Xian. So, Xiao Zhuang refused to add Shun Zhi's posthumous name to Xiao Xian's posthumous name. In other words, Xiao Xian isn't considered as Shun Zhi's formal empress. Thank you for watching this video.